Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Hello everybody, my name is Nora and today on Horrible Gaming we are going to be working on some heavy terraform as well as show you some progress on my latest build Twin Falls. You can find more photos of this build on my Instagram linked below. Feel free to check my most recent video out regarding these two cozy little areas so you can recreate them on your island. Let's go ahead and get this video started. I'm going to go show you my recent progress on Twin Falls. Over here I have some heavy terraform and a cozy little walkway leading up to Grizzly's house. As you can see I'm making use of a lot of sunken waterfalls, cozy walkways and foliage. Keep in mind that my builds are for aesthetic reasons. I would highly suggest making your island easy to navigate if you play the game normally and need to farm materials. I don't play the game that way anymore. I just build for fun builds and aesthetic islands. So this is why my islands are always heavily wooded and cozy. For today's video, we are going to be working right here behind Grizzly's house. I am going to be building a sawmill and terraforming some heavy waterfalls around it. This build will be using codes that are already provided in my highlights on Instagram, so make sure you are following that Instagram account linked below. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and activate my mods. Keep in mind that I do have a modded switch. This can only be done if your console is non-patched and running custom firmware. I do not recommend having a hacked console if you share your account with a friend or family member. There is always a risk of being banned. I decided to hack my console so I could help the community more and I know that this is always going to be a risk and I'm prepared for that day when Nintendo finally blocks my account from working but until then I am going to enjoy this magic and build to my heart's content. So I'm going to go ahead and now get my speed up and my collision off for faster terraforming. So if you don't mod you can kind of see how this magic works off you know camera. It's pretty fun and cool. If you want to see more cool mod stuff, let me know in the comment section below. But I do highly recommend checking out a friend's YouTube channel called Iggy Curates, who does a lot of modding and custom firmware stuff. Now that my speeds are set, I'm going to go ahead and start the base for this build. I want to make a really nice logged bridge right in this area, and then I'm thinking in this location is where we're going to have that sawmill. So this is actually a recreation of an old build that I made last year. I don't have photos of this build anymore because I got really insecure about it and dirty deleted it, but hopefully this build's recreation turns out even better from the old one I made. Now that we have this base terraform strip done, I can go ahead and start prepping the base for the sawmill. In this location, I am mapping out where my incline is going to be. That way when I go to place the incline, I'll have it already plotted out for its location. I am now going to be starting the decoration process for the sawmill. I will be using a lot of simple panels and stalls. The stall color I will be using is in the shade Copper 
And then the stall code is gonna be customized with various codes that I'm using in my pro designs. Again, all of these designs can be found on highlights on my Instagram. So I'll be using these codes today as well as this window. I'll also probably make use of the doors right here and then the timber as well. I'm also gonna be using this rusted roof stall code to make the illusion that it is rusted in the forest. Let's go ahead and start customizing our simple panels. Now that I have the second level up, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding more stalls on top of it and more simple panels to finish up the last layer of the sawmill. I will be using a wood burning stove as a chimney for the very top of the sawmill, just like you see in real life ones. Now I am just gonna go clean up the sides of the building. That way we can start the decorating process. I really like using log stakes for faux bridges. It just really adds texture and it just looks really rustic and cool. You'll see me use this build probably on almost all of my naturals. I decided last minute that the edge of these stalls, this timber code would look really cool on there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and customize two simple panels to replace on the edges, just to give the illusion that timber is stacked up on the sides of the building. We are now gonna start the decorating process. I'm just using a lot of different various items that I would feel like an actual sawmill would have. My dad actually was a logger growing up, so I'm taking a lot of inspo from what I would see at his job. I'm placing some path variation on the ground right now. Again, you can find these codes on my Instagram highlights, but I'm using this just to fill the area in more, make it feel more complete. And then we're gonna continue decorating and accenting with various items, flowers, shrubs, and greenery.
here is the build. I still have a lot of work to do. I need to fill in behind it on the sides and obviously place an incline down here to reach it but this build is also functional you can store your materials here your tools here when you're not using them so if you liked this build in this tutorial and speed build and just love the mountain core progress in general make sure you hit that sub button and also follow me on instagram and my facebook live streams thank you so much and i cannot wait to show y'all what i have in store for my next video 